Simon Hartzell here from NAI Global, and joining me is Jason Lockhart from NAI Harcourts. Welcome, Jason. Fantastic to be here. So talk to us about the organization, and I won't introduce where you're from. Tell us where you're from and how, okay. how the organization plays into NAI. So uh, from Australia, uh, and I'm from Brisbane more specifically, but uh, so I joined the organisation as a franchisee some nine years ago, uh, but moved into this role a year and a half ago. And I look after uh, around Australia, so I look after all the capital cities, all the regional areas. So a fair bit of travelling for me in terms of getting around. And so, so the, you, you brought an interesting point up, and it, uh, franchisee versus franchisor, yeah. uh, our relationship from NAI to NAI Harcourts is purely a licensing agreement, but how did you guys form the organization and where do you take the business yeah. from that point to the local level? So, so Harcourts itself primarily has a reputation as a residential business uh, in both New Zealand and Australia, very strong in New Zealand, uh, uh, number one there as a residential organisation. Wow. They've risen in just 22 years to number three in Australia, so quite a stellar rise for them there. But I think at times we struggle in the commercial space, or have struggled, and so the opportunity for us to partner with an organisation such as NIO Global, and you know, the comment that I usually get from a franchisee, and myself when I was one, was that it was this credibility piece that we were looking for. It gave us a, a link to something much stronger, and, uh, and something that we could actually walk through the door with, with a little bit of pride, a bit of bravado at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. How do you see the benefits of, of now coming all this way, here at NAI Global Convention, benefiting you, your team, the organization, coming back in your individual markets? Yeah, look, I mean, obviously it starts with the, the learning piece. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, there's, there's always uh, plenty to learn, uh, I find at uh, particularly conventions of this nature. But uh, I, can, I can start with today. I mean, uh, this morning I woke up and uh, I had uh, breakfast with, uh, with with Shelby, who's the uh, the chair of retail, and we're talking about what's happening in retail right around the globe, because uh, retail's obviously undergoing some enormous uh, flux at the present moment in time, you know, huge challenges from online, and so we're talking about what the next trend is and how we benefit from shared knowledge in that space and what that could mean to us, uh, you know, to, to be able to uh, cross border transact. It's not an easy opportunity to. We now recently have a new NAI office in the Philippines. They're here. Yes. We have an NAI office in Dubai. They're here. We have an NAI office in multiple countries in Europe. A lot of those folks are here. So, have you found that opportunity to to connect with those individuals from other countries and kind of discuss, hey, how can we in, build this bridge? Yeah. In fact, I met a lot of those guys last year as well, nice. and uh, the opportunity to to continue those discussions. I think that's that's the thing I was trying to do by being here again this year. It's, as you say, it's a it's a good. Uh, distance to travel, but the commitment. I think if we show that uh, that we're committed to the cause, then obviously it benefits uh, you know, long-term relationships. And uh, I always say to people, you know, the benefit of being affiliated with Harcourts is you know, we actually know where the client lives. Uh, <laughs> and that's not a threat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we're invited to their house. That's the that's the thing. So that's where the affiliation uh, really helps uh, with the, with the branding there. So you're taking that 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 trust and that relationship that you built, and you're just going deeper. And Absolutely. You're, you're, you're yeah. trying to. to yeah develop a core kind of relationship that you can have versus just being able to say, let's go to a ball game or let's let's do this and let's do a dinner. Yeah. You're, you're trying to get more. We're very strong on the on the values piece. It's uh, it's the real cornerstone of the Harcourts organization there in Australia. So, you know, we, we, we talk about, you know, living, living those values that we have and, uh, you know, that flows over in, into the commercial space, obviously, for us. So we, we want to be you know, that, that trusted organisation there. And, and in fact, in New Zealand, it's the number one most trusted brand. What do you think's attracting like institutional clients or just, you know, larger private equity investors to the Australia, New Zealand market? Uh, the, the nice stable markets, you know, so politically very stable. Okay, uh, you know, that's, that, that's always been probably one of the, the, uh, the key fundamentals there. The New Zealand market particularly so, like it's really strong uh, in, in that space. Uh, but then population, and I think it's five to six million people there. And, and so it's not a, not a big population. So the opportunities themselves, when they present, uh, are hotly contested, uh, very attractive to the Asian market because of, uh, you know, we're in that, uh, that, that rim, Pacific mm -hmm. rim down there. Um, and, and 
Australia's you know hot on the heels of, of, of that that same strength in the, that you see in New Zealand. So uh, being here in Las Vegas at the 2019 convention, what's one of the big takeaways that you want to kind of take from here and communicate back to the team there, yeah. their kind of at home base? Uh, look, you know, tech. Tech's one of the, the, the big things for us. Like we're, we're constantly, uh, we're reinventing ourselves. We spend a lot of money on our tech uh, down there as well, but there's a lot that's ready-made here also. Interesting. So I find that, uh, that a, a great benefit to come over here and see what's trending, what's working uh, in that space. Uh, you know, property management, uh, I'm, I'm keen. You know, I, was, I was sitting in the, uh, in, in the mastermind uh, class there this morning also finding about recruitment uh, and the challenges. It, it's always, I suppose, reassuring to find out that everyone's got the same struggles. You know, it's, uh, you're not alone. Yeah, uh, but if you can take a little piece of somebody else's solution to that struggle, oh. home with you and, and try to implement it, then it could, be, it could be worth the whole trip.